Today, let's talk about the top three upcoming Blender features. And also I have a new Skillshare course out, which I'll talk about more at the end of this video. But for now, let's dive in. Today we'll be covering what I consider to be the three most exciting and biggest features in the upcoming Blender 3.0 update, which is currently slated for an October release. If you'd like to see all the features being added and all the bug fixes, I will of course have a link in the description below where you can check out the wiki and see all of that information. If you see anything on that list or in this video you'd like to see a full tutorial on, let me know in the comments below. I've been taking note of everything that you've wanted a tutorial on. I think fall is gonna be really exciting because I have a lot of content coming out based on what you've been asking for. But let's dive into those new features right now. The Asset Browser is an incredible new tool that allows you to save assets into preset categories for ease of reuse. You can save objects, environments, shaders, animations, and more. It makes it easy to drag and drop materials into a scene, testing out lighting setups, using asset packs, and the animation tool is really cool for producing character animation quicker with sequences. To utilize it, open a browser window, right-click an asset, and mark it as an asset. Then it will appear in the browser. This is an incredible tool for anybody, but I'm really excited about its usefulness in producing short films as an individual creator. Anything that can save time on tedious tasks is a welcome new feature. I have an entire video on Cycles X and you've probably already heard about this upcoming update. Cycles X just renders faster and by a lot. On average, it'll render two to five times faster. And some people have said that they've seen increases up to seven times faster. I couldn't recreate this myself though. Results may vary according to your scene setup. I found that single objects or characters rendered about one and a half to two times faster. My more complex scenes rendered about four to five times faster when I was doing short film scenes or full environments. There's a noticeable difference with interior scenes and outdoor scenes as well. It seems that scenes with a lot of interiors, which result in a lot of light rays bouncing around, see the biggest improvement in render times. The best part, you don't have to do anything to utilize it. It just renders faster on its own. Although not a new feature, Geometry Nodes makes this list due to the sheer volume of updates it is getting. First, it has a faster evaluation system. So if you're doing long, complex chains, it'll process the node system quicker. We have a host of new nodes, including the Raycast node, Delete Geo node, Switch node, and more. I think the Switch node will come in really handy for creating animation toggle switches for certain elements in your scenes. The most exciting addition, though, are the included support of curves, volume objects, and materials in geometry nodes. I like the idea of creating an explosion generator or using location nulls to modify materials. If you're looking to get started with geometry nodes, check out my intro tutorial on the channel. However, nodes is so big, I want to do more tutorials. So what would you like to see tutorials on in geometry nodes? Let me know in the comments below. A bit about our sponsor. Are you looking to level up your 3D skills? Then a great place to look is Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of incredible classes for creators. Explore new skills, deepen existing passions, and get lost in creativity. They have classes on Blender, character design, productivity, cinematography, illustration, business, and more. I'm a top teacher on the platform, and I host several Blender courses focused on characters and Blender. It's a great place to start learning Blender as I really focus on kind of the basics in these courses and trying to help level up. In my Your First 3D Animation class, I'll walk you through the process of animating your first 3D character. We'll cover the dope sheet, graph editor, and include free character rigs. This class focuses on the basics and it's made for beginners to Blender. It's curated specifically for learning and there are no ads. They're always launching new premium classes so you can stay focused and follow wherever your creativity takes you. The first 1,000 people to use this link will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. Let's talk about my new course. I'm really excited about this one. With all my new classes and tutorials, I sometimes get people saying that they have a hard time keeping up. And from what I've gathered, a lot of times these are people opening Blender for the first time and wanting to make something cool, or they've just downloaded it that week. So I made a course for those people. And what this course is, is intended to be your first step into the Blender journey. So it just goes through the basic navigation and the layouts and what the properties panel are and what the outliner panel is. And really this is just a course intended to get you started learning Blender. So I hope you check it out. It's on Skillshare if you'd like to see it. And as usual, thank you for watching. If you wanna keep up to date with this channel, what I'm working on and what I'm releasing, check out at Southern Chatty on Instagram. Also tag me in anything that you make from these tutorials or courses on there. I love seeing what you create. I may not be able to respond to all of them or share all of them, but I assure you that I'm looking at all of them and enjoying them. And I'm really just grateful for everybody's support. We just hit 75,000 subs and I'm really excited about that as well. 
I have a couple exciting things upcoming for the channel, some new products I'm making, some new giveaways, and I'm really excited about a new series I'm making for YouTube based off some request from the audience in the comments. So uh, again, thank you for watching and stay tuned because it's gonna be an exciting rest of the year.